Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Dwayne Retro Gamer is I. And tonight, man, I brought a good friend of mine along, the hero that loses. You guys may know him from Everything Xbox, which is our Instagram page. If you're not following, please go follow us. You'll get a lot of great content on there. It's everything underscore underscore Xbox. I promise you guys will not be disappointed for following if you're not subscribed to this channel please subscribe you know we got a lot of good news coming out a lot of gameplays a lot of walkthroughs and all of that so hopping into gaming news i'm gonna let the hero that loses take this one take this all right thank you uh first i want to talk about the improvements to your stalking abilities on the xbox one what i mean that is, is the, the improvements to the friends list you will now see whenever your friends come online and you can also see what their most popular apps are yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I, I think that that's awesome because, honestly, to me, I get tired of, like, having to leave a game and then figure out who's online and all of that because sometimes I just want to, like, most of the time, I just want to see the people that I talk to the most, which is probably in my friends list. But if I don't have to leave out of there just to see my friends list, that would be awesome to me. Yeah, sure. Uh, I know I will really enjoy it. Uh, and then also I want to talk about the audio, so the new audio settings that will be. So uh, what that means basically is that whenever you're in a party now, like before the update, you always your TV sound kind of gets lowered randomly in and out. And like for me, I like to watch Netflix, you know, later on at night. And my friends try to join a party and sit and chat me up. I can't hear my TV because it's going in and out. But now with this update, you'll be able to change the settings to that you'll be able to turn up or down. So that's awesome. That's going to be my most look forward, my most anticipated part of this update, for sure. Exactly. Um, also, right now, the Blu-ray 50 Hertz video output support is basically for Europe. Um, I know the TVs over there are pushing out 50 Hertz, and you want to get everything that, you know, that your TV can push out. So this is awesome for you guys. Um... That'll be great. I don't believe that we'll get a chance to experience that. I don't think that we would. Um, it just wouldn't make any sense. But hopefully the guys over there that will be beta testing this will have some great things to say about it. Yes. Uh, and uh, while well, on the topic of um, that, like, that area, I think we should talk about real quick, like, getting it back to the update. But it's Titanfall. Oh, yeah, yeah. UK. Bring it up. It's Exactly, man. Titanfall, Titanfall did excellent numbers over there. You know, we want to send a great congratulations to Microsoft, and you know, just getting people to experience what we've already known was to be true was that this system is just amazingly great. You know, um, the Xbox One is just an awesome system. Don't let anybody tell you differently. This this thing is awesome, and Titanfall has proven that. It shows you exactly what the Xbox One can do. Um, uh, you know, other than that, you know, Europe did 96% sales over there for the Xbox One, and that's just like when the bundle came out. That's it. So imagine, you know, you know, imagine other times you know what other bundles they may have and i believe that microsoft i don't know about you uh hero that loses i don't know about you but i believe microsoft is gonna lock this game up due to those numbers what do you what do you think i agree uh we're definitely gonna see some more competitiveness from xbox one uh oh definitely PS4, you know having better sales in that area especially right uh, that's why i'm assuming that's why they brought the bundle there and not anywhere else yeah yeah so hopefully that you know that brings up the sales everywhere I just want to see the Xbox One just improve itself more and more. Just, Microsoft just kick it out, you know, just drill everything they can out of the system. Exactly. Also, um, in, in another piece of gaming news, we're going to talk about the PlayStation 4 and what the hell they're doing over there. Um, prices go up in Canada. And I don't know about you guys, but that seems a little fishy to me. They went up $50 over there in Canada. And I don't care, you know, if you go up $1, you still went up a dollar on my, you know, what I'm planning on going to get. Which to me, you know, I don't mean to cut the hero off, the hero that loses off, but I think to me this looks like it's going to be an epidemic worldwide if Canada buys into this. Yeah. And, um,. I don't want to say about that, I just, uh, kind of just, like, told you so, I guess. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, man, you know. Too uh, cheaper, just too, uh, too good to be true for your console. Exactly. I mean, they're going to need the money. 
Exactly. Not making much profit as they are for the one because uh, this is how much it takes to make the PS4. Right, right. I think that the PS4 is a great product. I've always said that, but you know, I'm honestly, you know, not understanding why they, you know, would do some of the things that they do. But nonetheless, whatever. Also, in last gaming news. We're going to talk about the boss that just left, uh, Mark Whitten. Uh He was there in 2000, helped the Xbox, original Xbox get launched, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. He also helped Microsoft launch Xbox Live. So, you know, it's hard to see him go, but he was he's branching off doing other things, guys. And um, I believe that's all we have for gaming news today. And I hope you guys enjoy. Give us your likes, um, give us your comments, give us the likes, smack that like button and let us know how you guys feel about the gaming news. Are you interested or ready for the uh, update? Let us know. Yeah, see you later. Peace.